Well, let's go now then to the suburb of Nanterre here in Paris where Nahel was killed and thus the epicentre of the protests last night. Now this afternoon, his family are leading a march in his honour and our reporter Clovis Casali is there. He joins me on the programme. Clovis, how big does this march appear to be this afternoon? Well, there are certainly thousands of people now on the streets of Nanterre. Uh, you can probably hear the crowds behind me. Uh, chanting police assassins, police assassins, and holding banners, uh, uh, reading uh, police kills. We're very close to the uh, truck where Nal's mother is standing with her fist up in the air, calling for justice, justice for her son. That's one of the other slogans we've been hearing uh, today. The march is, for the time being, peaceful. It's pretty impressive to see so many people uh, gathered here uh, for this event, heading, leaving from the... Uh, uh, that's the name of the council estate where a lot of the violence took place last night. We left that council estate and now walking towards the prefecture, the uh, building of the uh, local authorities, where uh, these thousands of people will be uh, gathered. Uh, and you can also feel the anger in the air. You can feel why, uh, how furious people are after the uh, death um, of Nail, age 17, uh, killed by when a 38-year-old police officer shot at him. That police officer now in custody, said the people here, furious, supported the situation and calling for justice. Well, you say you can feel the anger, Clovis. Just tell us what residents are saying to you about why they have joined this march today. Well, during the clashes last night and the night before, it's mostly youth that took to the street. Uh, and in some council estates, people who knew Nail personally, friends of his, uh, and we met some of them who told us that they didn't want to speak on camera, but they said that they uh, just were victim of uh, police brutality just too often and a lack of respect from police forces. We also spoke to older residents, shopkeepers, restaurant owners, who told us something needs to change. They're not, uh, they don't agree with the violence, but they say they can't uh, speak to the youths. They're just uncontrollable for the time being. But of course, here, people here in Nantes are also uh, disappointed by uh, the way uh, police have been acting recently, and they're asking for justice. The French government has reacted and said that justice would be served uh, quickly. And I think that the fact that um, the police officer who uh, killed the young man is in custody is a first step for them, a first answer that they probably want more. And as we speak, I can see the track truck with the mother of Nail and the crowds, huge crowds around her, cheering, showing their support. This moment is also to honour the memory of Niall, 17-year-old, uh, who was raised by a single mum and who's now, uh, and who uh, was killed by a police officer, uh, sparking all of the, this movement and the clashes over the last couple of months. All right, Clovis Casali for us there in Nanterre. Thank you very much indeed for that update.